Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV with me, Get Daved. In the last episode we found out Kirill was sick and needed something called a Feverfew Root to make him better. We got a Feverfew Seed and now we need to help some people out on unrelated business. Well, somewhat related business. Hey! And that's how quickly they sprout. How these triffid like monstrosities have not overrun the planet is beyond me. Whatever, we got a root. <laughs> that's awesome. Imperial Brow, also the name of Darth Vader's theme. And to Mintos we go. Also note that when you zoom, your ship travels with you to... Uh, I'm going to somewhat incorrectly say the closest landing spot. Sometimes it's not quite the closest. But it goes with you to usually a pretty convenient spot. Yes, we do. <laughs> now I am so much happy. Uh, these three are the best. Alright. Eat this. Good work, team. Sara the Manslayer. Hey, I'm kind of off after him. Well, loosely. Yep. <laughs> the more people we are, the merrier we are. Words to live by. Alright, seven out of eight, everybody. And now, when we got Boria, we didn't have to make cuts. But now we've got Elena, and that's a bit more complicated. The deed is done. Oh, don't tell people. Oh. That's not the safest place to go. Oh, okay. Hey look, Hank Hoffman's working the front desk. Will do, Hank. Alright. First things first. Actually, I probably should stay at that end. It would have been slightly better money sense to do that before we got Elena and Kirill, but I'm not going to lose sleep over that. Um, I'm going to see. We have that extra fur coat. If Elena can use that, that'll be helpful. She can also probably use the Robe of Serenity, though. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sorry, Torneko. Elena is pretty similar to you, but so much more dangerous. Even though yeah, it's not super apparent right now, looks like Torneco could hold his own, um, that won't last for very long at all. Question is, what do we do with the number 4 spot? And this is a dilemma that I have for pretty much the entire game and never fully figure out. Um, Kirill's okay, and he's a better healer than Mina in the end game. 
Um, he has multi-heal, which does about 100 to 125 hit points to all your characters, and he has a really good reviving spell. Mina has um, a decent reviving spell, and the ability to make everyone take half damage from fire and ice, which is absolutely yeah. priceless. But you can have both of them. Right now, I think I am going to go with... Ah, gee, you know what? I'm going to keep Maya, maybe. Again, I'm not firmly attached to this decision. And as long as we keep traveling with the wagon, everyone will get experience. So... And you can switch parties in the battle and everything. So it's going to be get Daved and the ladies for now. I keep forgetting to stay at the end. Not quite what I wanted, Hank. Now, we also have a pretty good sum of money. And we have the Thief's Key. There are some durs we can unlock with the Thief's Key. But nothing really great comes to mind uh, for places we can reach right now. If we could get back to Berlin, we could do alright. Um, but it's dangerous to go alone. Actually, gonna set my sights over this away. We're gonna do some kind of dangerous traveling first. No encounters, that's a nice twist. Alright, welcome to Riverton, everybody. Hmm. Why that reckoning is pretty much exactly what happened and everything you need to know on the subject. So if we can track him down, we can ask him for the secret to flight. It's trouble down there. Item shop here, absolutely nothing special. <laughs> Meow? Hello, cat. Still nothing too exciting. But here's where things get fun. They sell a Dragon's Bane, which is one of the strongest weapons in the entire game. Um, only the hero and Ragnar can use it, but it's really, really strong. And I often buy one, and I think I will this time as well. So the question is just, do we have enough stuff to sell to make up for it? Also, you haven't seen me get attacked at sea once yet. Um, make no mistake, that happens, and fairly frequently. Uh, I'll offload that. We only need to get to 13,500, then we can sell the hero's current weapon. To make up the rest, so... Question is, do we have 1500 worth of stuff in the bag? Silk robe, that's a pretty good start. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. Can't sell that golden tiara, it's for Elena. bad feeling about this. Wow. I have a ton of seeds though, so that helps a little bit. I'm going to come up just short.
Whoops. There we go. Well, everybody, this is slightly disappointing. I was hoping to get a really, really good weapon. I may try going outside and grinding to uh, make just a small amount of money. Um, although enemies don't necessarily drop more mo that much more money as you advance in the game. So, painfully close. Tempting to sell a seed of magic. Not that tempting. Alright, we're gonna take a brief pause. Well, no, I'll finish exploring Riverton. Maybe I'll find some money in a pot or something. I just know I'm gonna find 15 coins. It will mock me. Giant Colossus. Super lag. I remember getting lag in this town on the DS, actually. So it's not just the emulation. They have Dragon Mail, too, which is really good. It's, the big thing is that it reduces damage from Fire and Ice. The Magic Vestment is also pretty good. Um... In Dragon Quest VIII, it really reduced the damage you took. Um, you know what? All of the equipment here is pretty good. Iron Mask looks really strong. Um, we're not going to buy it because, well, you'll figure that out soon enough. That's good. Uh, okay. Alright, well as soon as I discover a gas that's lighter than air, I'll be right back here. I wonder if he knows that you can heat up air to reduce its density. I mean, you can heat up most things to do that, actually. I suppose if you had enough energy, maybe you could make, like, the flying molten lead balloon. Alright, we found a golden bracer, which we could sell, I believe, to make enough money, but it's a fifth piece of equipment, which is really quite rare and quite good. And if we give it to Elena, she'll have the second best defense in the party, so that's what I'm gonna do. And we've pretty much explored the bulk of Riverton here. Leg Sanity. Oh. There is this guy. You bet. We can go on far more than just rivers with this thing. Got it, man. Excitement. Hidden passages are always fun, right, gang? Alright, and I think that's it for Riverton. Yonder we've got a little shrine, which links up with the uh, teleportal we were in before. Or, we at least saw it. However, the door is super locked. I got a small metal here in the last video. Door is super ultra omega locked, so there's not much we can do about that. It's nice to be taunted, though. Alright, had holy protection cast off camera. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh 
Okay. Uh, be cool, Dave. Be cool. Now, I know they look dangerous. Make no mistake. They're the worst. Good start, Elena. <laughs> Why did I do this? Oh, goodness. I'm in hell. <laughs> Eh? <laughs> uh, let's go anywhere but here. <laughs> Everybody, you gotta be careful where you go. This is actually, like, you'll come back here when you're in your mid to high 20s, so level 13 is a little on the low side. Um, what's a good location? I guess Endor is alright. <laughs> I'm glad we're not all dead. Well, so much for making a little bit of money. You know, I had a I had a bit of a sinking feeling that things were like I would get wiped out and lose all my money. As it turns out, I just lost some of it. The good news is, everyone's on such a low level that it's pretty cheap to bring them back. save after what just happened because when you die in Dragon Quest games you do lose half of your money and that's the most horrible thing in the world when you are saving up for something <laughs> yeah let's keep going Uh, no, actually, I think I probably am doing well enough to keep going without, uh, you know, getting too much stuff back. I'm not going to explore over here. Um, there's strong enemies, and I learned a lesson just now. So I'm going to be good and not do anything dangerous. One of these little islands has a hut on it. There we go. In the original NES version, it was, uh... Here we go. It was an empty patch of grass, kind of a suspicious looking one. Hello! Hmm. <laughs> hey, buddy! <laughs> Grizzly Adam's over there. Alright, now I am just going here to walk into town. You'll remember this from Chapter 4. I'm walking in and I'm walking out. Not doing anything too crazy there. Um, that's the rough uh, neck of the woods that we want to check out, but not right now. And I might as well visit the Mammon Mine real briefly as well. So as happy as we remember it. There's a town up here, though. I can't believe I still haven't gotten an encounter at sea. Dunplundrin, welcome everybody. No, tell me. Alright, so. The ability to reverse time. Sounds like a good game mechanic.
Alright, they sell um, the Cloak of Evasion, which is pretty good mage armor. Um, Melinda can use it too, but when we've got the Robe of Serenity, we don't really care. It does increase your evade, but I can't really recommend it too highly. It's just not that strong. Hmm. Yar. Okay. And secretly, the Sands of Time are there with it. A pair of fishnet stockings. Actually a common accessory in Dragon Quest games. Now there's a whole bunch of little items like this in Dragon Quest games. Um, and they're gender exclusive. Uh, I guess they're just not quite that progressive yet. So, there isn't really a disadvantage to having a female hero, and there are certain advantages, uh, like being able to use equipment like that. I just ran around looking really closely at the ground. Um, if you come to this town at night when the tide comes in, you'll find that uh, there's one empty spot where there's no water. And if you search there, you'll find the Karstaway Stone. And that's how you know where to look. But I just sort of ran around mashing the button violently and found it on my own. That's fitting. You like the pirate devil. met a couple people who make that claim. One more time. Alright. Sleeping his days away. I've heard of worse things. Alright, and so we've pretty much explored Dunplundrin. The big thing you need here is to hear about that. Or hear about the Karastoy Stone and pick it up, and also both those pirates. Um, I think the enemies here are a little bit easier. This is actually kind of risky, though. I'm just gonna scout out the island. Getting into an encounter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I am so stupid. Yep, that's what I'm afraid of. No, not that one. That one. <sighs> I like how... <laughs> I'm getting jumped by massive groups of terrible enemies. It's never just one, which is a lot more common. Like, you usually just encounter one of these guys, but for some reason... Oh well, let's keep up this crap. You know, you know what? We've had a pretty good video length. I'm learning from all the terrifying things that are happening to me, so I'm gonna call it here, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.